Hello everyone, it's Ascendant here from 4 of Us Gaming, and today this is going to be a bit of a gameplay commentary. Uh, I've played a bunch during the event so far, and I've had some pretty interesting matches that I'm going to share and just go through some of the highs and lows with you now. The overarching theme is going to be a bit of tunnel vision, and if you want to know exactly what tunnel vision looks like in Hunt Showdown, uh, yeah, just, just watch this clip for a little bit. So I'm in a bit of a world of my own and it's all kind of gone to shit uh, and it just gets worse from here because when you're in this state and there's lots of stuff going on, you start to miss things, audio cues and uh, that's what gets me in the end. So that's definitely one of the uh, worst clips that I've recorded in a couple of hundred hours. And it happened just because I was focusing on my thing, killed my partner, and just completely zoned out important sound cues. I've spoken a bit in the past about cognitive load, which is the amount that we can kind of concentrate on before we start missing things, before we start making errors, because there's just too much going on. And this is something that's very relevant in Hunt, being able to increase that cognitive load to deal with just more stuff as it's happening is really critical. And this is one example of where that comes into play. So I've got so many different factors to take care of now, especially in this compound in particular, because there's so much verticality, so many surfaces aren't penetrable, so many are, many of the different surfaces produce different sounds, which gives away my position and the enemy's position, and so where I go, where I shoot, and now of course I've got to put out my partner as well, and that's another thing layered on top of all of what I'm concentrating, well, it, um, it adds a certain amount of complexity. But within that, I have to pick up on certain things. The enemy's walking on mud, which means they're on ground level. Look at that, gives me a kill. I'm able to do lots of things at the same time get the bounty, suppress the enemy, choke out my partner, all important steps. Now in this next engagement, something happens which is quite interesting. Uh, we start shooting each other and I'm firing at the maximum fire rate of the wind field until I get hit. I then realize that I need two shots and he only needs one shot to kill me, so I slow down my aim by a split second just to draw the crosshair up to the head, and we can see how that pays off. It's quite subtle, but it's little things like that that make me feel really good when I win a fight, because I go, oh well, I actually did something there that was uh, a little bit more clever than just blasting in their general direction. Uh, it's a conscious decision that's made really quickly, and it's really rewarding when it pays off. 
Now you can use all this stuff against your enemies as well, because they're human, they want kills, and very often they can develop a bit of tunnel vision, and when you see that happening, you can certainly capitalize on it. You can also increase the chances of that happening through positioning. So in this clip, it's a pretty basic bait around a corner, where my partner's close, they can hear his footsteps, they've damaged him, so they're pushing him, and it means that they run more or less into the open where I can just take them out from my sightline. Now I'm not saying these enemies are by any means stupid, this happens pretty commonly because people are hungry for kills, they know that pushing and being aggressive can be great, but just be aware of your angles when you do so. So my partner's seen an enemy in these bushes, and we're moving in to pursue. I'm probably not being a very good supporting partner here, I should be closer. I do have a bad habit of uh, baiting my main partner when I play with him. So the enemy starts falling back, we're getting hit, so we keep pursuing. The danger is this is at the start of the match, so we're making a lot of noise and we do have to worry about other teams coming in, being attracted to the fight the longer it draws out. And of course we do get shot at from, uh, from the southwest there. I tell my partner we should engage the other team because they're pushing us, but he runs in and uh, you can see what happens. Sometimes it's just better to use the weapon you're familiar with. Obviously the little conversion pistol is nowhere near as strong as the Berthia, but I've used it for so long uh, that, it, that I like to get headshots with it quite easily. Here comes the second team. Now I should be dead there, I was just quicker on the trigger. And this perplexes me, it's happened a couple of times recently where I've thrown a grenade, it hasn't been fully cooked. The main purpose of that was to give me cover while I healed so he didn't push onto me, but it got the kill. Now. It's happened a couple of times, so I'm wondering if there's an audio bug back with the, uh, the frag fuses. Or if people just think they can hide behind thin wood and be safe from frags. Hot tip, you can't. Okay, so let's look at one last fight. There's a couple of teams involved in this one. And at the end it gets a little bit hairy, so it's really about not giving up. That flank with one person on one side of the wall and the other on the other is quite effective, pushing them back into gunfire. So this is a bit miserable. So here's back to the uh, multitasking. I've been chased by a meathead, but I ignore it enough to throw that frag and get the kill because I knew it was uh, a pretty good chance. And that actually gives me time to get away from the, uh, the meathead. Sometimes that's what I use frags for, just creating space, giving me time. Okay, so this is not good. So 
So this is where they should be fragging, but never give up, hold your nerve, and always use a knife. The takeaway is that sometimes when you're getting pushed, you're low on health, your partner's down, you can go, ah, oh, it's all a bit too much, I'm just going to give up. Uh, but it's much more effective to say, hey, this will be a really cool clip if I win, and uh, and try and push through it. Often when people say to themselves, oh, I can't do it, it's impossible, I've lost, I'm dead, I'm so dead, uh, it's usually what happens. So you get to stay positive and uh, still think like a bit of a predator. Well, as you can see, I'm a bit rusty, but I'm uh, playing a bit more now and putting some more content out. So I really enjoyed putting these clips together and just using some uh, some commentary like this. Hopefully you learned something or at least were entertained. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming. Oh, one last thing. I've been doing some, uh, well, I'm going to be doing some more giveaways over on my Discord channel, so you can find that link in the description below. Thanks very much and I'll catch you later.